I, I would I would need to pre I would you wait I would need you could you do comparing HS and Codfish directly I think the main part HS was missing was the feeling on stage Codfish on the other hand was investing his whole heart into his performance <laughs> What's up, my current FGP box? Welcome back to another analysis video with your boy Maddox, aka Man of Culture. I ask you on my community page which video I should watch next, and you voted for HS versus Codfish. As always, before I watch the video, I'm gonna check out the comment section first. Let's read some comments. 348 when I eat really spicy chili. <laughs> <laughs> Shine Tahir seems like your Indian guy. Sex critic at me! Who's waiting for Maddox to analyze this? Wait, there's people waiting for this? <laughs> Joke. Me when I asked the guy next to me on a competition, what should I do to win? The guy? You could do anything. Except win. <laughs> Man of culture! Yo Maddox, in the name of God of culture and Holy Spirit of culture, don't ignore this quick and easy joke that was made with culture for you. Okay bro, Napalm, well guys, Codfish throat bass got me deep, but I'ma act, I'll enjoy HS though. Oh. <laughs> Man of culture! Me waiting for Maddox to analyze his versus remix. You ever had a dream that you could think that somehow you could do anything? <laughs> also the his versus remix option on Maddox's poll as of this day. You could do anything. Except win. <laughs> Bravo Mario Barbosa! Uomo de cultura! <laughs> Zero 015, me when I try beatboxing and sing but forgot my text. You ever had a dream that you could think that somehow you could do anything? <laughs> Man of culture. Maddox, when I think that I can get a man of culture without doing anything. You wish that you could, you, you dream that you could, you, you think that you could, you, you dream that you could. So you dream that you could get a man of culture. People who've been voting for his versus remix since the first poll. Mm -hmm, I walk a lonely road, the only road that I have ever known. <laughs> Bro, be brave. One day you will win. Man of culture. 451, a short smile from Codfish. Walk alone. Uh, man of culture. My favorite part is when he says What? 456, with just kick and snare and bass line, he can make all the judges impressed. Fire. <laughs> you know how it is, bro. It's all about the clean basics. Man of culture. 238, Codfish is like, Bro, the hell are you doing? <laughs> Man of culture. When I clean the window, 301. Ah, bravo, my man. Wait, so you made three banger comments in one video? For this, you will get a hero of culture. <laughs> Me, my friends, and a boring lecture. <laughs> man of culture. Me telling my friends that alcohol has no effect on me. Me after a zip. <laughs> man of culture. Me. I went to a party. Mom. You. You wish that you could. <laughs> man of culture. Me. Maddox, can I get a man of culture? Maddox. Man of. Nope. Me. Don't know where it goes, but it's only me and I walk alone. <laughs> Okay, my bro. Man of culture. Codfish holds the mic. Napalm. How did she do that? <laughs> Man of culture. 654. Codfish be like, hey, yo, pal, don't cry. I told you how it's going to end at the beginning. <laughs> Man of culture. Hmm, today I didn't find any proper transitions. What should I do now? Let me analyze that. Let's get into the first round of Codfish. <laughs> Codfish. 
We got Australia versus South Korea. I say the three, y'all say the two of the one crowd in three. Two, one, beatbox. <sighs> you ever had a dream that you could think that somehow you could do anything? You, you wish that you could, you, you dream that you could, you, you think that you could, you, you dream that you could, you, you try to you could, you, you think that you could, you see you could, you, you dream that you could, you, you try to you could, you see you could, you could do anything. You could do anything. Except when. Uh... Step up to the beat. <laughs> 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 Hit you with that. And that's time. And that's time. All right. So my first impression, or one thousandth impression, because I was watching this video a million times already. Codfish was really just focusing on performing his song here, but it was really dynamic, so it worked in the battle context. Let's get into the. You ever had a dream that you could think that somehow you could do anything? So Codfish started with the meme quote of this little guy. Have you ever had a dream that that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so you you do you could you you want you want him to do you so much you could do anything but in the context of the battle it really worked for his punchline then he started to repeat the lyrics while doing the beat until you already can feel the quality of codfish it's really simple but the way he's executing it is on a really high level you could do anything the kick is really punchy his lyrics are coming through really nice he has a lot of presence in his voice and the texture of each layer sounds really beautiful then he came into the transition part and dude his throat bass especially back then no one had such a thick throat bass i think even now yeah he has so much overtones in his throat bass i can tell he's practicing his singing because to get your throat bass on such a high level you need to have a really good technique and good breath support yeah i i i would i would need to pre i would you wait i would need you could you do i would need to practice this constantly for weeks to get so much presence into my beat and then the drop is just basically him adding a kick and snare but it works so well <laughs> simplicity is key here also try to listen how consistent he is with the sounds a lot of beatboxes when they do repetitive beats they lose energy at some parts the kick sometimes is inconsistent the snare is inconsistent the throw bass changes because people get out of breath but he's really consistent in his sound so it's really easy to follow the beat <laughs> then after his first drop he came with this punchline and <laughs> You could do anything, except win. <laughs> it's so dope. He used the lyrics that he performed in the beginning. And with this lyrics at the beginning, he had to set up for the punchline. So the punchline hits really hard. Then he came back into the drop part and he just did some slight changes here. But because the effect of the punchline was so overwhelming, he don't need to overcomplicate the second drop. Except win. <laughs> <laughs> then for the outro he added a little bit more technicality into his beat the complexity of this beat isn't too high 
but again the execution is really outstanding. Every sound that he does is really polished, it's in the front, the beat has a lot of drive and it's clean from the beginning till the end. Hit you with that. <laughs> Alright, so overall the first round of Codfish was really clean and really powerful. The level of execution is one of the highest we would ever witness on a GBB battle. So Codfish for this GBB made a really brave decision. He kept his complexity low in order to be able to deliver a really high execution level. And this idea already pays off in the first round. Without going too crazy with his beats, he already dragged the attention from the crowd as well as from the judges on his side. Let me analyze that. Alright, let's go on with HR's first round. <laughs> Wow, that's it? Okay, it's crazy. The contrast between Codfish and Ahas first round. It's like night and day. When Ahas started to beatbox, he used a throat bass and the presence of his throat bass wasn't even close to Codfish. So let's get into the details. <laughs> Yeah, so Aisha started right away with a throat bass beat and especially compared to Codfish, his throat bass sounds so thin. He was also modulating his throat bass with a siren, but this didn't do any favor to his beat. Also, when he introduced his kick to his beat, it still made no difference. There was just missing drive. I also think he started way too fast into the beat. He should have done something in the intro to get the attention from the audience. The audience was still processing the round of codfish. And before HS had the chance to drag the attention to himself, he already started to do the beat. Of course, if you're studying your routine at home and you don't know what will happen in the battle, you can't really tell how the situation will be on stage. Are you going to start off? Is the round something where your answer to the opponent but that's what makes the difference between an experienced beatboxer and an unexperienced beatboxer especially on a battle the experienced beatboxer can read the situation and change the routine depending on the situation here you just see hs performing his routine and he couldn't keep up with the energy of codfish <laughs> Then after the simple throat bass beat, he was adding some complexity to his beats, but still no energy in there. Also a mistake of him was to choose a beat that includes a throat bass. After such a round of codfish where the throat bass level was just outstanding. Just looking at Napalm referring to listen closely, you can tell that, that the difference between HS throat bass and codfish throat bass was like night and day. <laughs> After that he did a short build up and then got into a singing part and his voice sounds really nice here but I think this could be something that he could do in the intro. In general it's a good idea to do a slower part after a heavy drop but because the drop didn't hit that hard before this part kind of felt misplaced. You also can see it in the expression of Codfish. He, he'd be like dude what the f*** are you doing? Then after the short singing part he went into a siren beat and this one was hitting really hard. <laughs> The 
Siren had a sick presence. Also, the way he was scratching it was a really cool move. And the beat itself around it sounded really full. But yeah, this part was really the only thing that was impressive in this round. And that's not enough. So overall, I have to say, even though Achas was the second, he didn't really answer to anything of Codfish, nor did react to the energy that Codfish created. And ignoring the first round of Codfish was fatal for him. Let me analyze that. Let's get into Codfish second round. One man, 30 on Codfish, I say the three, y'all say the two and the one, crowd in three. Two, one, people. I walk along the road, the only road that I have ever known. Don't know where it goes, but it's only me and I walk alone. I walk alone and I walk up. So smooth, yo. I walk alone and I walk up. My shadow haunts the only walks beside me. Today I wish I'm on the day as me them. Today, I'm wish I'm on the day when I need. Today, I walk alone. Simple. Cutfish's second round was a big contrast to the first round. His first round was really energetic, his second round was really smooth and subtle. So let's look at the details! <laughs> His voice sounds so sick. It has so many beautiful overtones. And also the control of his throat bass. It's so outstanding. I walk a lonely road. The only road that I have ever known. It's so hard to copy. Also the feeling of it, right? It's... Mm. Mm. Juicy. Don't know where it goes, but it's only me and I walk alone. Wow. The technique itself is easy to copy, but to execute it like him with so many emotions, so clean and with so many overtones, that's so hard, man. Don't know where it goes, but it's only me and I walk alone. And then the beat, yo. <laughs> It's so smooth, man. <laughs> the overtones in his voice, man. It's so nasally, but ah, it's. <laughs> I get goosebumps every time when I hear this. His humming voice is almost a special sound. Also these cracks in between. He uses a little bit of vocal fry in between and this makes it so emotional. Beautiful, man. I'm just wondering, in the second verse, the lyrics feel kind of off. My shadow haunts the only walks beside me. Yeah, he says something like, my shadow haunts the only one beside me. My shadow haunts the only walks beside me. Makes no sense, my bro. <laughs> I just checked the real lyrics. It says, my shadow's the only one that walks beside me. There's no haunting. So he probably forgot the lyrics here. Today I wish I'm on the day as we them. <laughs> oh, bro, that's not part of the original lyrics. It's okay to rewrite the original lyrics, but it doesn't really make sense what he's singing. Today I wish I'm on. 
What? Today I wish I'm on the day as we down. It makes zero sense. <laughs> Probably while he was performing it, he forgot the lyrics and he was just freestyling some words. But the good thing is, even if he realized he's singing wrong lyrics, he kept the feeling on so no one even realized he's singing garbage. Then for the second drop, he just added a second snare to the beat, but it was enough change to give more drive into it. I walk you up. <laughs> I don't really like though that he's covering the microphone with a second hand because this makes his voice sounding more muddy. I walk alone and I walk alone. Yes, yeah, so in the second round there was no real battle part, there was no high energy part. But you also have to keep in mind in his first round he already delivered high energy stuff and he won the first round by far. So probably on stage he made his decision that let's do something that pleases the crowd. I don't really have to battle anymore because in my first round I smashed Ahas already. That can be a really dangerous decision because if Ahas would smash it now in the second round, battle would be over for him. Let me analyze that. So let's check out HR's second round. Where's the kick, my bro? All right. So HR's second round was a little bit more energetic than the first one, especially this click roll bass sound that he did here was really outstanding. Let's get into the details. Yeah, so right from the beginning, again, he has no connection to the crowd. The melody he's singing here is fine, the pitch is okay, the tempo is a little bit too fast, I feel here, but you can feel that he's not performing it with his whole heart. And especially after such an emotional round like Codfish did, it's crucial to be at least close to it, especially when you do emotional melodies like that. That's actually a big part that a lot of beatboxers forget and it's the way you're presenting your beats. It's not only important to be clean and powerful and original, you also need to be able to deliver the energy and the feeling on stage. Otherwise it will feel really robotic. The only real part where he could get the attention of the crowd was when he started with the click roll beat. <laughs> Someone told me it's not a real click roll, it's somewhere in the back of your throat at the position of the inward case now. I don't know how to do it, but back then it was really special when HS was doing this. But anyways, also here, I would wish that he would get more into it. Not only do a dirty beat and invest energy here, but also get in with your whole body. You have to feel it on stage in order to get the attention from the audience. <laughs> So he got some attention in the first part of the beat. But then in the second part of the beat, the magic was already over. He just added an inward case snare, but I was missing a proper kick. <laughs> 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 
he just did a throat kick and I can tell with this technique it's impossible to do a proper kick but yeah at the end the result is not really convincing. Alright so this was the second round of HS. Comparing HS and Codfish directly I think the main part HS was missing was the feeling on stage. You can tell he was working a lot on his routines in order to know it by heart but there was no soul in his performance. Codfish on the other hand was investing his whole heart into his performance so he was really connecting with both the audience and the judges. So the problem was not only the execution difference but also the way both were performing it on stage. So of course it's unquestionable that Codfish destroyed HS in this battle. For all upcoming beatboxes out there this is a good example of how to perform and how to not perform. Looking at both competitors and comparison can teach you a lot about stage presence. So take this battle as an example to improve your stage presence if you want to be on stage in the future. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Quick and easy. If you enjoy my content, please like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon. Ooh.